What's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're unboxing some fantastical baits that we are excited to be throwing around here very soon. And this box actually comes from Carl's Bait and Tackle because your boy gets a discount. I mean, it, it, like, like, why would I not do this? And the, the great thing is that they have swim baits on there now. Mm -hmm. So you guys are about to see some technically glide baits, but some very big baits and some bed fishing things, some search baits, some new stuff. There's some things in this box you're going to want to see. I think it's going to be a ton of fun. And I've got my buddy here to help me unbox this. You want to help me open some uh, tackle? No. <laughs> yes. <All right>. I do. <laughs> okay, so we're going to pop this box open here in just a second. Before we do that, if you guys like the channel, if you like the content, you want to see more reviews, unboxing, and fishing videos, we do that all here on the channel. So consider subscribing. Smash a like on this video. That helps us out a lot. Ring that notification bell so you can see when we drop more content. And then come hang out with me every Thursday. This guy might also be there. Potentially co-hosting our live podcast right here on YouTube. It's a ton of fun. Thursdays, 8 p.m. Eastern. We'd love to see you there and talk to you in chat. All right, you guys. So we've got this box here coming to us from Carl's Bait and Tackle, and it is full of things, possibly stuff that Paul is currently stealing. Uh, let's start out with the plastics because I think that the other baits are extremely exciting, and I'm going to make you wait till the end for the, for the good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so right off the top, I actually picked these up. The funny thing is somehow... I haven't fished these before, but this, yeah, exactly. See? Just See? Shocking off. Shocking. <laughs> shocking. Uh, I guess I usually throw Kytex. Kytex. And what else do I have? What are other no, tails? That's pretty much it. Kytex. Cool. So mostly I've been throwing Kytex. We're going we're gonna to broaden our reach. We're going to try some different things. So here's some X-Zone. I've liked uh, a lot of the products that they're putting out there. I just picked you up some tubes, which are apparently amazing tubes. Uh, we're going to be throwing those around. Once we get to the dam, should we go fish the dam? We got we got some spots to go hit, I think for sure. But anyways, <laughs> this is an exciting color because uh, it's chartreuse. I mean, you can't lose if it's chartreuse, right? Uh, but this is the X Zone Swammer, the four inch model. Uh, it came it came pre opened for me. Thanks thanks Carl's, you pre opened it for me. I don't even need my knife. <laughs> uh, nope. Knife unnecessary. So we got a little four inch paddle tail here. I think it's absolutely gonna crush. I love this color for the waters around us. Uh, we've got sort of that like muddy runoff and stuff kind of calming down, water's clearing up a little bit. I think this is gonna crush it on maybe an underspin. It's probably how I would throw it right now. My favorite way to use these, because I have fished these before, is actually as a spinnerbait trailer. They do, Ooh, yeah. they do such a nice job being a spinnerbait trailer. They fit on the kind of generic three quarter ounce, half ounce hook size perfectly. And uh, I, I feel like the rib body along with that solid paddle tail just gives a, it's just extra. I love it. So extra. I love that flat top though. That's interesting as well. It's easy to put on, it stays on, and I think it just does a great job. My the it's other like a color, pretty durable plastic. The other sure. color that I really want to fish super bad, and Jeff and I were talking about this earlier, the all black. Like they're like they have like an inky black color. Oh really? It's fantastic. It's so sweet. That would be sweet. Next plastic we've got going on. We gotta go with our boys over at Z-Man. This thing, so you haven't fished these before? No. Alright, so this is the razor shad. And I have fished these before. This is possibly the best chatterbait and spinnerbait trailer on the market because one, it's uh, invincible, right? <laughs> Elastec, it's invincible. Can you imagine if you're fishing, imagine if you will for a moment, you're fishing a chatterbait and your trailers keep ripping off and you keep losing the tail, maybe possibly to some toothy critters. Uh, that'd be unfortunate. Well, this one won't let that happen. And what's great about these, I think, is that it's got this tapered tail, almost almost like a fluke. You could throw a fluke on as well. The main difference from this and a fluke though is this little section here. Look at that. Little jointed section there is gonna have a ton of action in the water. I think these things look great. This one's called Bad Shad. That's the color there, look at that. A little dark top. Close to what you were just talking about, more like a black color into more of this like silver with those shiny flakes in there dude for what we get our money for bait bait fish pattern in michigan that's the perfect color i have i have like every z-man like the diesel minnow all in that color like yeah. all the other z-man stuff i have in that color the nice thing about the elastec is you can get really 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 tiny uh with which means tons of action like it like that one has at the tail yep. and you're not gonna like lose it the second you almost yeah. catch fish that's like the biggest benefit yeah, it's always, you're always exchanging like action versus durability and Z-Man can bring those things together. Just wacky. Uh, when are they gonna sponsor us? 
I don't know, but it's a cheat code, so it's like, I'm just going to keep using it either way. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, but I'm just saying, Z-Man, we talk about Shark Deuce. Shark Deuce Nation, yo. <laughs> First of all, can we lobby, maybe, maybe petition, what's the right term for this, to change the copper truce color It'll to be Shark happen. Deuce? They already call them the turds, the TRTs. Dream big, I guess. <laughs> it's the only way I dream, bro. All right, next up, what do we got? All right, this next one is technically a plastic as well, and Paul's definitely not excited about it. Um, but I got this for you guys. We're going to test this thing out because I'm sure you, like me, are seeing this come up in ads and all over social media, and you're like, what the heck is this thing? Is it worth it or not? Uh, so we got the 10,000 fish headhunter, which is... Little bait fish, little bluegill in this case. Comes in different colors, you can get like a crappie color too. Um, but it's a little baby swim bait, pre-rigged. The reason Paul doesn't like it, would you, would you like to share? It's not that, Go ahead. okay, first of all I'm gonna say, it's not that I don't like it. You right? hate it, like, got it. it if I think it'll fish, I, mm -hmm. I know it'll fish. Right. Um, it's more about like the economics of the thing, right? Fair assessment. That's it. This is what you get. And actually, how much are these? That's what, so that's my deal. So to Paul's really good point, this thing right here, if you are a Carl's Bait and Tackle member, is $6.99 for, for one, for just this. If you are not a member, non-member price, this is $10. $10 for this little thing right here, man. So good point, economical, no, not even close. But we're gonna, we're gonna uh, suspend reality for a moment. Maybe our disbelief. Here. I was going to suspend my bank account for a second. <laughs> I'm going to suspend. Your bank account is suspended. Permanently. <laughs> Permanently because you've been shopping too much. Nah. All right. So what what, what, what what would be the value of this? Right? Because you're comparing it to like storm pre-rigged Which would be like the, I, I don't want to call it the cheapy, but it's like the yeah. cheapy version. It really is. So what makes this thing valuable? I think it's got like a really nice little paddle to there. It feels like a fairly durable plastic but i mean in in our experience we took the dark sleeper from mega bass out on the river uh absolutely demolished it it's about the same price as this and that's what i'm concerned about and like, a little bit feel that i would say skinnier though this this has more like like this has more like uh durability feel to it and sure. and honestly the paint job quality is a lot higher it looks good it's a lot higher it's and a great color so here's kind of what you're paying for right we got like this little hook guard area, which I'll say is like, uh, it's fairly equivalent to uh, the, the dark sleeper, right? Like it's weed less ish. Uh, you're still going to get hung up. But the idea here is when you go to like set the hook on something, there's actually a magnet inside of here. And this hook right here, it's going to pop up. Look at that. So it actually comes up to help you set the hook and then fight that fish. Like the plastic is now kind of out of the way. I don't know if that's gonna contribute to durability, it might. Cause the plastic isn't getting shredded while you have the fish pinned over here. That might be helpful. I don't know. It should be. Yeah. And I mean, it really does. There's, there's nothing wrong with the concept. This is a good bait. No, like, it's, it's a good it's, idea. It will fish, it will catch yep. fish. But like even the way they package it and the way that, you know, for what you're getting, mm -hmm. my only qualm is like money versus like what you're yeah. actually, what's the delivery? What's the value Fair. proposition there? It's a little low to me. So, I mean, you guys that fish swim baits like this all the time, you let us know what your thoughts are in the comments below. I don't fish swim baits like this ever. So this is just stepping outside of my comfort zone and doing something different. It's a half ounce, three and a quarter inches long. This is the baby version. They come in a much bigger version as well. And I do- Something to test out. I do fish those pre-rigs and I like them. Jeff always like gives me crap because I always talk about the storm paddle tails, Cause man. Cause you're 102. I'm 100,000 years old. <laughs> uh, but those are, you know, they're impossible to mess up. You don't have to tune them. Fair. They're rigged perfectly every single time. Just like this one is. Tie it on, throw they it out. They always go. look good. And yeah. I mean, honestly, they're, they are pretty durable. Yeah. Paddle tails where you can miss because once, the, this is my, the other thing is once that paddle tail is gone, we saw that with the Mega Bass Dark Sleeper. Yeah. Once the paddle tail is gone, that bait is adios. Yeah. I mean, I actually tried to fish it just to see what it looked like without the paddle tail. It just rolled. And it just looked like cut bait. <laughs> I was like, uh, chartreuse cut bait? Probably not my first option. Next up is another bait you guys have probably been seeing a lot of uh, because Catchco really hypes this one up. So this is the 10,000 fish cycle bait and you better believe we're going to put it to the test we're going to throw it out there and see what happens maybe with a swammer on it maybe with a swammer because it would pair up phenomenally well for a little color combo here chartreuse and white just 
crushes crushes around here this one i'm excited about because i really one thing they have right over at catch is they're trying to innovate which is cool that's always good for the market i like that um does it always work no <laughs> does it sometimes work yes sometimes it blows everything else out of the water so i'm excited to see what this thing does but check it out we've got this it can't ride up that's it's exactly actually blocked. why that's right? exactly why. Interesting. Okay. We, were, we were talking about this before we unbox it. So check this out. We've got kind of this free moving jig head down here. It is hand tied. So it is hand tied. The I'm skirt, kind of, which that's is cool. My, that is my preference. That's 10 the times juice. Out of, 10 times out of 10. Ever since we started working with Super K, it's like, dude, hand tie everything. You can't go backwards. Like those little bands. We we tried a bunch of spinner baits <laughs> last year and they like all the skirts broke off. <laughs> Every chatter we had through on that lake got absolutely yeah. demolished. Yeah. Hand tied is definitely the way to go. So if you check this out, it's a little hand tied skirt there, chartreuse and white. Skirt material seems durable, looks good. Uh, it's kind of doubled over, so there's extra strands. I like that, because it's gonna get broken down over time. Oh, that. We've actually got a wire and molded plastic keeper right there, which is fantastic. Probably my favorite. Yeah. I like uh, the stoutness of the hook, and yeah, wire. Wire is legit. Wire is legit. It's a pretty thick gauge wire that I think is going to hold up for a long time. And then look at this thing. Because you're throwing a Tiffany's bracelet on the back of it. <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany's. <laughs> it's so true. This this is what you're you're getting with this thing. This is what makes this different. So it's called the cycle bait. What happens is you're getting a more unique spinning, rotating action because of these little connecting pieces, these crazy looking. But it's not spinning, and I think that's the that's the that's the. It's deal. not spinning. It kind of like goes back and forth. I think. Um, so I'm gonna have to see this in the water. Honestly, this is very interesting. It's got a little fish imprint. You can't even see with the glare there. It's a little fish imprint on the blade. Blade seems like a blade. It's nothing special. Um, sometimes you get like those higher quality. I think with like. I think it's Terminator. It gets you like stainless steel blades, which are fantastic. But um, this is just a, a regular old willow blade. Big in. It's big. And it's, I mean, because you got a single, right? Normally, not normally, but most of the time on spinner baits, you're going to have like two blades. This is a single blade situation. It's also short. Like the distance yeah. here is Look at the wire. Short. That's not your normal length. So mm -hmm. very interesting. Out of the box, very interesting. Uh, I mean, I'm assuming it's short because this adds quite a bit of length to it, right? I don't know. I, I'm we'll going we'll to tell you right now. You could tell they put thought into it. So Jeff was talking yeah. about this. See how there's like a um, a little a bar yeah. uh, that sort of holds the head down? I'm guessing that's partly in to, in, due in part because of the short uh, piece right. here and keeping things really close together. Yep. You don't want to get uh, fouled up very often. So that's going to help you out a ton. So there's yeah. a lot of stuff that like went into. I think it'll be good. There's a lot of thought that went into that. The other thing I'll say is the reason I like this bait and I like the idea behind this bait, and maybe these exist and I just haven't run across them before. But when you're fishing spinner baits, especially if you're 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 on a piece of water, the the two things that I always look for in spinner baits are mm. uh, depth control because that's sort of yeah. what their jam is. I can with my retrieve speed and the weights and then the amount of blade, you can really get your depth dialed in and stay right at the top of that weed cover. So yeah. I don't know if you're going to get the same ability with that because the the tension from the spinning blades is really what keeps the bait up high. Right. Without the spinning blade, I don't know how that's going to work. So I'm interested to see how that fishes. Yeah. And the other thing too is like you're always going for a different right kind of mm -hmm. uh, thump under the water with those different blades. Yep. This is not going to be like anything you've ever thrown before. That's awesome. Which could be a great thing. Yeah, because awesome. again, if you're fishing a pressured pond like the one that's right next to my house here, where people literally like just crush the thing all day long it's absurd yeah like it's tough to catch fish there but if you throw something different that the fish are not being presented with all the time then you can really stand out and that can be helpful for your day um this one's three eighths of an ounce by the way for the weight and then on the back here you can see of course they recommend using the ten thousand fish yodo worm as a trailer we can use a fluke we could use that razor shad we could use the the swammers i'm a swammer i, I like the paddle tail. swammer i think it's gonna be the jam i kind of like that it's rare that i want to like do less vibration on a right. vibrating bait <laughs> so but it, i'm not saying it won't work just the, that's how i fish it so i uh, i do that combo i'm trying it i think it's gonna be interesting i like it a lot what are we down to oh yeah this one i'm really excited for i've yeah. uh, been thinking about this one for a while so this is the mike buka bullgill uh so if you guys have fished this is the baby version of course it's tiny but if you fished their uh bull shad 
This is just one that has a bigger head shape. It's kind of sweet. See, this more valuable, you know, versus uh, a plastic bait. So we've got a hard body swim bait, right? What I love about these Buka baits though, is look at that, that's the tail. Rather than being a hard piece of plastic or uh, wood even, or that maybe is replaceable, it's just these little hairs. It's fantastic, which gives you a completely unique action, uh, which I think is gonna look great in the water. And then again, versus the bull shad, you've got this bigger head shape, more of the broader body, like a, like a bluegill. You can get these in crappie colors and all that stuff as well. I went for more of the reflective property, I like it. And we're getting eventually inching up here into like bed fishing season and, and bluegill spawning and all that stuff. So kind of want to throw something like this around and we're getting into swim babes, which we're getting to more of here in a second. <laughs> There's more coming up, but this one's fantastic. So we've got, you know, the main three joints here in the body. I think it's going to look good. They have a really good action in the water. I've been throwing the bull shad for a little while. Uh, not seriously because I haven't caught anything on it, but we're gonna get serious about it. That fi the finish on that is probably my favorite part of that bait. It's, yeah. per it's perfect for where we like, like for what we're fishing. So nice. these are 3.75 inch size. It's slow sinking. This one they do come in different options there as well as like the floating or suspending. I went for slow sinking. I like better. And then it's uh, three quarters of an ounce. Jeff likes the fast retrieve. I think he made the right choice. Yeah, I like to move, move things. All right, can we show them in the packaging? So next up, we've got our first glide bait of the day. This is a 13 Fishing Glidesdale, which is a fantastic name, by the way. Went for this like darker color, which I just thought was juicy as heck. It's a rusty bream, that's what they call it here. Gives me something different to throw. This one is 185 millimeters. So it's a pretty big body compared to most things that we throw. It's a sinking 2.5 ounce. Dude, if Batman was gonna throw a, a glide bait, this is like, what, be this, this is what I think he would throw. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Batman glide bait. Check this out, you guys. Oh my gosh, it's so juicy. It's absolutely ridiculous. So this one has uh, this sort of like soft plastic tail at the end there. I'm sure it's probably replaceable. I have no idea. Uh, and then the fins are actually a hard plastic. So glide bait, we got like one main joint here to the body. Look at that. It's gonna give us a real natural kind of moving action in the water. We got some big old hooks on there, but they're not too stout. I like that. I think we can definitely hook up on this thing. It's probably really loud. <laughs> I think this would be, look at the black eyes on this thing. And one thing you're not getting yeah. in the camera and I can tell right now is like, I've got, look this thing's that. backlit to me right now. I mean, yeah. I can see right through it. Yeah, it's pretty translucent. I like it a lot. I think the body shape is pretty awesome. Got your little 13 fishing logo there, little Glidesdale up on top, 185. This thing is juicy. It's a pretty good size. <laughs> Did I just Mr. Bassett? Oh, I thought for sure. No, I didn't. We're fine. It's a pretty good size. I love the color. Dude, that's a chunk. Yeah, it's, it's glorious. And finally, this is the one we had to save for last. This one I'm probably most excited to throw. Yeah. Uh, so another glide bait here. This one's a 178, but it's heavier than the Glidesdale. Slow sinking. It's by Molex. It's a cinder block compared to what we have been throwing. It's a gosh dang giant. Oh my gosh, I'm so pumped about this. Check this out. This one does have a replaceable tail. You can see there that you can slide it in and out. This one's more of a hard plastic. Look at that. That's juicy. So this is the MX Bluegill color. I think it looks fantastic. Kind of this holographic, shiny bluegill pattern. Uh, looks great, dude. Is it textured? Oh, it is. Yeah. Wow. This, this is well made. It's textured. The fins here on the side kind of flare out a little bit. Look at that. Um, yeah, this is ridiculous. It looks like all the fins are replaceable. <laughs> it's Stop. absurd. Look at, we got, oh, those are moving. That's supposed to Look at that. Trebles oh, yeah. are free moving. That is meant to be. So these trebles can move around here on the bottom, fully rotating. That's pretty nuts. You pointed out like the, the line tie section here, we got sort of the open mouth. That's interesting. Eyes on this thing are freaking, look at the eye. Dude, work of art, kind of don't want to throw it, but I definitely want to throw it. <laughs> oh, I want to, I want to, I want to actually I, beat I, it up. Dude, this is going to be absurd. I want to beat it up to the point where I got to send it back to Debo and be like, yo, could you please make this look like it used to? <laughs> yeah. I absolutely destroyed this. Make it pretty again, please. <laughs> this thing's fantastic. So again, another big bait, definitely big for us up here. 
making sure I don't stab myself. Or me. I like their slogan here, think, feel, fish. It's pretty cool. So it's seven inches, weight is two and three quarter ounces. It's just a little bit heavier, I think, than the Glidesdale. Yep. Glidesdale was One two and a half ounces. Wow. Night and day difference, quarter ounce, way heavier. Wow. All right, you guys, so there's all the stuff we just picked up from Carl's Bait and Tackle. I am excited to throw these around. If you guys have fished these baits before and you got some thoughts or some tips for us, drop them in the comments below. We really appreciate that. If there's anything you're really excited to fish this spring, let us know as well. I wanna hear like all the baits that you guys are throwing, the stuff that's producing, the stuff that's your favorite. That's part of the community here. So thanks for sharing. If you do, comment below. Appreciate you guys watching the video today. If you wanna see more unboxings, reviews, and fishing videos, we do it all here on the channel. So consider subscribing, smash a like on this video, ring that notification bell so you can see when we drop more content, and then come hang out with me and this chump. Every Thursday, 8 p.m. Eastern, we go live right here on YouTube. It's a ton of fun. We'd love to see you there in chat and talk to you. Thanks again for watching, you guys. Hopefully you have a great day, and we'll see you on the next video.